What's cracking, guys? And welcome to some freaking Chrono Clock, baby. Oh, yeah. You guys know what happened last time, so I'm not going to recap. Let's do this. It's not because I didn't actually say it beforehand without thinking about the YouTube intro. All right, yo, what's up? The next day, it was Saturday, so we were out of school, and Suji stopped by my house like he said he would. All right, yeah, that's right. We're going to meet this guy up. I came out in my pajamas uh, and sandals to greet him at the front. Pajamas and sandals? Really, dude? Um, P -P is that how you usually spell pajamas with the P Y instead of a? Uh, maybe yeah, all right. Maybe maybe yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. Um, you know, you didn't have to use the intercom. You could have just waltzed in here, no problem. <laughs> oh well, it, I guess it's kind of cool. We got a little walkie talkie. So you walk in here, you can't hear that, oh Mate, he <laughs> just called me mate. Oh, all right, interesting. We both headed to the annex without so much uh, without so much a normal greeting. Suji was carrying a plastic bag, so I figured he must have brought a drink and snacks with him. Oh, all right. Yeah, I know. We're gonna play some games. That that kind of looks like a PS3 over there. I'm not gonna lie. Um, after walking through the courtyard into the annex building, Suji. Oh, I forgot my face is probably covering that. Here, hold on. I'll show you guys the PS3. One second, right there. I I completely forgot my ugly ass face was in the way. You see that PS3? Hey guys, go. That does look like a PS triple, don't it? All right. Let's bring the face back here if I can. Or my face does not want to come back. Um, did I lose my face? What the hell? Okay. All right. There we go. Holy shit! It's like my face did not want to come back. It's like even, even the game's just like, no, it's better this way, noble. Oh man, that's savage, man. That's pretty mean. Anyway, after walking through the courtyard, I get to the next building. Suji she took the side of my room. Uh, last time you were here, we had all of our other friends uh, come over to play games, right? Dana. Oh. Alright. We had other friends? Oh, okay. Sometimes I have friends come over here to hang out. Since my parents never stopped by to bother me, and the place is pointlessly huge for one person. Oh, I thought, does he have his girl over here, his sister? Plus, most people generally stay away from this place because it's a uh, connection to the Sawatari name. With nothing more to be said, they took two cups of the uh, uh, of the cup out of the cupboard and put them down on the table. Suji suddenly followed suit, pouring the cola he brought with him in his own cup. <laughs> oh, okay. You don't just drink out of the bottle, dude? What's the point of that? Alright, whatever, man. Oh, excuse me, alright? It's, it's hard keeping a room clean. I'm not gonna lie, dude. It's kind of tough. Uh, I'm just very meticulous about a neat... Uh, uh, about being a neat... Freak. Oh, I guess, yeah. True. That's... <laughs> yeah. Well, excuse me. Uh, we, we should put the chatter aside. I can tell you're nervous. Since you came to see me about Michu, right? So you took a swig off, uh, a swig of his port cola. Shoot the shit. Man, this guy don't miss words. He's just like, yeah, we shoot the shit all the time. Uh, Suji breathed out a deep sigh. He really did seem quite nervous. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Ah, all right. That's right. Do you like sister or do you like Kohai? Um, since you came here today to make sure that Michu is really the girl you're interested in, right? Ah, so I'll call you later. All right. Oh, no. I'm going to call my blind sis in. Oh, that's not going to be good. I just nodded. Shuji got straight to the point as always. So how long have you liked uh, Michiru? Last year, I was in the first place. I thought I saw a girl in the middle of the night. I thought she was Little did you know she was an incestuous little shit. So you fell in love with first sight too? I didn't want to be afraid of it. I was talking to three people. I was talking to them when I was in school. I was talking to them when I was in school. Ah, yes, the young love! We were all there at one point in our lives! When we had one cute girl that we got excited about meeting every time and we tried desperately not to show her excitement too much, but we were really freaking excited. Because <laughs> she was hot and we liked her. Um, I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but yeah, I, I'm pretty sure everybody had that. Um, so you don't need a reason to fall in love either. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, oh, I definitely know. 
There are other cute girls at our school, like Makoto Amui, but Michiru is in a completely different league. Oh, wow! She's uh, much more of a princess than a schoolgirl. I guess that is true, considering that, you know, she comes from a rich-ass family. Um, hmm. Despite that, she definitely catches the eyes of other boys because of her long black hair and calm, mature personality. That is until she gets home. Uh, plus, despite her visual handicap, her wealth as a Sawatari would make any hypothetical partner of hers set for life. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Uh, but there's uh, one other thing. I feel like I shouldn't be the one to tell you this, but uh, Michiru kind of has the hots for me. Even though we're still... <laughs> oh yeah, he's just like, yeah, she's kind of uh, completely incestuous. Was... <laughs> I mean, it's just ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Suji sounded a little disappointed. Well, I guess uh, I should call her. I could have just gone to the main house to see her, but uh, I was in no mood to, to walk all the way over there, so I decided to phone her instead. Hi, Michiru. Ah, oh, okay, she's all nice now. Yo, Michiru, it's me! What's cracking? You wanna come over? Yeah, boy! <laughs> What's that? No, no, I don't, I, that's, we're not doing that meme. That meme is ancient, okay? I, if you guys know what the what's up meme is though, pros, you know, Hi. booty slaps to ya. Oh, okay, she's blushing through the phone, we can tell that. Um, could you come over to my room? <laughs> oh, damn! Oh, damn! Oh, yeah, I'm coming right away! You want me to wear some good negligence, eh? Oh, damn. Hey, by the way, she Hey! She just fucking hangs up right away. Oh, boy! I'm coming, boy! I'm coming! It's just like running down the wall. Oh, God. The entire way. The light is already gone dead. Jesus, girl. She hung up on me. Uh, I put my phone away and Shuji smiled knowingly. Are you just gonna hang up the phone? <laughs> Jesus, hang up the fucking phone. Don't let it be forever, dude. Uh, yeah. Uh, I could change her if I wanted to. <laughs> We're in the approaching footsteps from another connecting hallway, and soon the door opens. Shit, damn, she goes fat. How big is this house? Did she run all that way? Damn. Your concubine has come for you? Oh, oh, that's a little awkward. Now, what is that? Uh, that was precisely the moment when Mitra's ears picked up on the fact that there was someone else besides me in the room. Uh, 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 um. どなたかに見られながらのプレーが腰を持うとは予想しておりませんでした。Oh my god, she just plays it off like that? She's just like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I ain't in that kind of play, all right, man. I, like, I don't, I'm no ex uh, exhibitionist, okay? Christ, that was awkward enough without you tackling all the last parts. Like, god damn, this is my friend, woman. Have some tact over here, holy shit. I won't be here long. Oh god. Ishida senpai deshita ka? O hisashiburi desu. Oh, all right. Huh? Ishida senpai? Oh, what? You wait, you brought your other girl along with you? Oh shit, that was definitely fucking awkward. You just said that with her in the room. Mio suddenly showed up, stepping into the room beside me. What the hell? <laughs> oh god, now it's That's really fucking awkward. Oh my god. God. Both me and the other man in the room were completely befuddled. Holy shit, this just went from zero to a million. Uh, Mew, what, what are you doing here? A talk? Wow, well, what kind of talk are we talking about here? Is she threatening her? Uh, Mitra must have dragged Mew back into the house to interrogate her. <laughs> yeah, no fucking shit. Um... It wasn't a problem for her to be here too, but I had been ready for her to show up out of nowhere. I took my pocket watch and smashed it against this. Like, fuck this up! No, oh no, no, no! We ain't having this shit. Oh, bail out, boys! Bail the fuck out! Oh, but... <laughs> they just bailed the fuck out. <laughs> they just bailed the fuck out. Oh, fuck this shit, I'm out! Oh my god, that's amazing! Uh, my conversion, my conversation with Suji picked up from where it left off. He just fucking bailed! Suji, uh, Mio is in the house. I think Mitra called over without telling me. Huh? Oh my god, oh, how, how would I know indeed? Hmm? Hmm. Uh, let's just say it's the radio waves. Just figured I should tell you it, uh, so you'll be prepared. 
Brushing aside his confusion, I pulled out my phone to call Michiru again. Oh, okay! Interesting. Hi, Michiru desu. Really? How's he gonna do it this time? Suji's uh, here right now, in my room. I know Mia's with you as well, so you guys should come uh, hang out with us. Ah, see, ah, ah, he handled that a lot fucking better this time here, this son of a bitch. Although the request I made uh, of Michiru was somewhat different from last time, your response was not. Uh, and once again, it did not take long for us to hear the approaching footsteps from the hall. Uh, she's already eager to come over. Alright. <laughs> you didn't even change your fucking dialogue! You knew he was here! God! Oh, I forgot to stop her from saying that. Guess it doesn't matter this time. <laughs> I guess it doesn't. Oh my god. I won't be here long! <laughs> the same fucking thing! This girl! She's even more bold than I fucking thought. Oh my god. Everything up to now is the same as before, but... <laughs> well, this is still awkward as fuck. Um, since Mio knew Suji was going to be here this time, she was already incredibly nervous as she came in. Mio did something so bold yesterday that I was thought she would uh, she would be over uh, her embarrassment, but she still looks as bashful as ever. Yeah. All right. Oh, hi. Oh, she's so. Are what? Mio's eyes darted back and forth as she tried to think of a topic of conversation. Oh, she's trying. She's trying, boys. Oh, she. Oh, you could do it. Um, then she looked at her hand. <laughs> Oh, she's not shaking. She don't got the shakes. Uh, her hand was still shake. Oh, okay, well, I guess it does. But it seemed like she wasn't in full panic mode on him. All right. Mio looked over at me next. Then she smiled. Hey, who did it? All right. Points. It was a smile directed solely at me. Oh, damn. I can really go for some snacks, too, right now. Uh, we have snacks and soda here. Um, oh, what's up? その前に用事が済んだから俺は帰る。What? That's it? Boy, you just gonna leave me? I thought you wanted to talk. Bro, bro, you're supposed to be in my buffer zone over here, all right? I need some help here taking on these bitches. <laughs> God damn, man. You're supposed to be my wig man. <laughs> oh, what? O already? He and I were both shocked as, uh, at his declaration. I'll bet for different reasons. Major on the hand just stood by the sidelines, smiling gently. Good. The problem is out of the way. <laughs> Alright, yes, that's it. that's exactly what I hear it saying right now. Oh, okay. No, don't leave me. She's gonna do bad things to me if when you're gone. Bad things are gonna happen. Acting as if uh, it weren't a big deal at all, soon she left the room. Boy! Hey, at least let me see to the door. I opted to follow Suji instead of staying with the girls. Oh. Okay. Well, that's awkward as fuck. Suji stopped outside the front door and looked up at the sky. Hey, Suji. You're sorry. Just wait a minute. Shut up for a minute? Oh, what do you mean shut up for a minute, man? I'm trying to get you hooked up over here and you tell me to shut the fuck up? Um, Suji seemed really agitated, but that wasn't the concern here. His ears and cheeks were slightly flushed and sweaty, but I could tell it was not because of the summer heat. Oh, it's because of the girl. Oh, he's bad at dealing with girls, this son of a bitch. Ah. So he does like the sis. He answered my question before I could ask him, and I sighed deeply in response. Did he wasn't going to give up on Michiru. And that meant, were, were Mio to confess to him again, he would unquestionably turn her down. So now what? <laughs> what do you mean now what? Do you want me to like give up on her? Do you want to stay with me? What, what are you gonna do, man? Do you want to like a harem? Um, it doesn't matter if you reject Mio, because Mitra won't accept you either. You saw how she acted. So Yeah. So ask yeah, now what? Beetsuni,どうもしない。適当なところでミユに断りを入れて、あとはいつもの生活に戻るだけだ。Damn, this boy is savage. Oh shit, he turned it around on me! Oh damn! Alright, alright, well that's well played. Me? 
、明らかにお前に気があるぞ。むっつりのお前が気づいてないわけないよな。それにも文句はね。三髄もあの子もよくやってる。今日のまともに喋れた様子を見て、偉いと思ったよ。He's probably thinking, yeah, if you get with her, then I'll have a better chance with your sister. Um, Shiji didn't try to hide his intentions or true feelings at all. He really did want nothing but the best from you, Anna. Oh, what a guy! Well, he's a dick bag, but he's our dick bag, alright? It's my, my kind of dick bag. とにかく、俺が妹さんに気があることをミュに知られるのは残酷だ。俺は帰るよ。Oh, God. I guess that is true. That would be a little awkward. Suji waved goodbye before turning to leave. What do I do now? Dot dot dot. I stood in the door, dumbstruck for about 10 seconds before finally going back into the house. Well, sugar plum snaps. Uh, it's nothing. He was just stopping by. Yeah, I had to go home once he,、uh, he was done. He looked a bit frazzled, which made me think that something had happened while I was gone. Oh, well, what's that? Did m i c h i r u try to grope her or something? <laughs> that's, that's, that's the immediate thing that he thinks of there? Really? Really? Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, you did it.、Uh, oh. I have to go home. I tried to act like everything was normal. <laughs> Aww. Michu came up with a convenient explanation for Shuji's odd behavior, even though she was、uh, the one that caused it. <laughs> well, she tries her best there. That's a good sister.、Um, it was clear as day that Michu didn't see any other man、uh, than me as a potential romantic partner. Well, yeah! Yeah. <sighs> Aww. あがり症の克服がどうしてミュウさんに必要なのかを探ろうと思いましたがお目当ては石田先輩だったんですねああいやいやなしのああこの家の敷地の中ではいくら叫んでも外には聞こえませんよ That's a little ominous. <laughs> That's a little ominous. No matter how much you scream, no one will ever hear you. Um, hey, don't pull any shenanigans with her. That's a little bit、uh, dicey. I stifled Mitra's threat right away. Oh, that's cute.、So、I think you, you said a little too much, Mia. <laughs> 相談できるお友達が増えたと思うことにします。Yes, of course.、Uh, now then, I wasn't trying to lead the, the conversation in this direction, but the way things are going, we're going to end up talking about Miu's love life. I don't really want to say anything careless in front of Michiru, though. Well, anyway, now that we're all here, we should、uh, play a game. Oh, we're just going to play a game? Truth or dare? お医者さん。How about play? No! No! You a bad girl! You a bad, bad girl! Um, do not finish that sentence. Oh, that's even worse! Oh, God! Do you, do you really want to? I was just trying to be part of the conversation. Hey, man! If you're all being perverted, I thought I might as well just join in, you know? I mean, alright. Uh, Miu had a remarkable knack for making a, an awkward situation even worse. Hey, it's fine. Hey, man, I, I, I seem to have that ability too. I'm not sure. I think it just comes naturally. Oh, Mahjong, that's my favorite game that I don't know how to play.、Um, you're crazy good at Mahjong for、uh, someone who's blind. Normally, I would suggest we play cards, but、uh, that was out of the question. Did <laughs> we choose blind? Let's see, I know shit. That doesn't really work too well. Let's see, I have braille cards? Does that work? I don't, I don't, I don't know, man.、Uh, she is much more adept at tabletop games like Mahjong, Chess, or Shogi, since she can understand the mechanics of the game through her sense of touch.、Uh, wait, Miu, do you even know how to play Mahjong? Alright, man, but Mahjong's a fucking hard ass game. That's all I'm gonna say.、Uh, 
Um, so you showed her how to play? Oh, Michiru, thanks a lot. Yeah, I really the rules. Oh, alright. is the same as me. It's more strong The first time playing? Um, what? Um, two Michiru level players? If I were to take them both on uh, in Mahjong by myself, I'd undoubtedly be a uh, be a full course si uh, sitting duck meal with trifle for dessert. Um, how can two girls be so good at Mahjong anyway? Oh, alright! My lord! Okay, I forgot she is a genius too. So we got a genius and a blind girl that can read the situation and call your fucking bluffs. Um, a predatory beast and an egghead. Great. Yeah, I see exactly, yeah. Oh, you're really good. I can stack tiles. Well, damn shit! Stacking tiles? That's one hell of a skill you got going there, girl! Uh, whoa, wait a second. I could swear you just admitted to cheating. <laughs> oh my lord, what? Oh god, is it? Oh, what? Michu, what the hell are you teaching her? Poor Misaki, she can't fucking go. Uh, I can't play with you guys, you're freaking me out here. Uh, I'm going out for the doctor. I think a doctor would be nice. Uh, Mio, you're answering that. <laughs> oh, yeah? Let's play house! She just goes back to that again! God damn it, woman! I mean, I'm, not, I'm fine with that. I'm not gonna be, like, against it or anything. I mean, I'll be all for that. Oh. Oh, so what, we're having, like, a, a flashback or something here? Alright, sure. I definitely would not refer to all that as... Fine. <laughs> Fine, what do you mean? It could be great. Uh, that night, I found myself curled up in bed and uh, exchanging text messages with Miyu. Though, you and Mitru definitely seem to be having a lot of fun. I read the message I just had sent out loud, hardly noticing uh, through the haze of sleepiness. Staring at the screen of my phone, I could almost picture Miyu giggling on the other side in response to that. Hey, he's flirting with her! He's flirting with her now! Yeah, alright. Since I refused to play Mahjong, we decided to go along with the idea of playing house seriously. I agreed to be the the mother. <laughs> the mother, really? Because it sounded like fun. But Mitra ended up getting too into it and I'm just gonna stop the Oh no, Mitru! Did you be the house? Oh god, of course she would be into that. It's best to forget uh, what's too painful to remember. Did she rape me? Did she just rape me? While I was starting to space out, I received another response from me. Kill. Oh, this is too sad. He's gonna turn her down. Oh, that was the real issue at hand. It was something we definitely couldn't talk about with Mitra around. It only took three or four days of practice, right? I knew you could do it. It's only three or four days. That's not so bad. I mean... I'm so surprised. Oh man, texting a girl late at night. What a good feeling that is. You know, it's just like, oh, it's just me in my privacy. I'm texting this girl that I like. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a good feeling. It's once that you get, and when you finally keep getting those text messages, you keep smiling. You're like, yeah, yeah, it's it's a good feel. It's a good feel. Um, even though I, I text only medium of communication, I can tell me it was excited. I couldn't help but say, look at this guy. Look at this guy! This so bitch share! We knows what's up! I, I can tell you, man. I was having a blast texting a girl for the first time in my life. See? Hell yeah! Um, that's probably because you never tried talking with a boy before. Ah, yeah? Oh, you like it, huh? You like it? Because of you. Oh! Oh, she said sweet words, and it's all because of you. <laughs> Sorry, anyway, um, that's a that's a different song. Uh, you guys don't want to hear Noble sing. That is not a good thing. Um, talk about a pickup line. Uh, you're gonna make me blush. That sense was too embarrassing to put in a text message. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit again. 
Oh, what if I sent her a message that said, I really like you, and I just played it off as a joke? Maybe if I confess my feelings right now, oh god, I don't know. Mia would probably take it seriously. But since I, I could turn back time anyway, I wonder if it might be worth a shot. Is this gonna do it? The ball's on this man! Uh, until just a few days, what if she doesn't reply back in <laughs> fucking five minutes? Uh, or is it ten minutes? I can't remember the exact time. Uh, until just a few days ago, I used that trick on girls all the time to see who might like me back. I never seriously thought about it like this before. Mama. Why, Ma? Suddenly, Crow appeared, descending through the ceiling. Oh, God! Naked girl just comes through the ceiling! What you doing? Uh, welcome home. What are you doing? Texting the girl. I'm texting. <laughs> Electric and telegraphs this data. Yes. Telegraphs. Wow, I, I know I, I know what those are, but I've never actually seen one in person. Oh man, is that is that what that is? And then instead of a text, my phone received an incoming call. Oh what? Oh damn, she went straight to the phone call. She wants something more. Oh, uh, what, what's up? Yeah, I'm a little bit of a conversation, so I to Oh, shit. Alright, alright. Sure. Oh, man, you're going to feel like setting her up to fail. Do you feel like that's too soon? Oh, God, hold on. I have to move, I have to move my, my face around here. Hold on, guys, so you can actually can read this. It's, uh, it's a bit tricky. There we go. All right, let me snap, snap it up there. Okay. All right. The the text is a little bit weird. It's going all over the place, but I, I try my best for you guys. I try my best. Um. Yeah, yeah you're gonna get turned down, but is is it okay to sabotage her? I don't know. Uh, no, I I think it'll be I I think it'll be me sabotaging her. Oh man. Oof. Ooh. Oh. oh. Mew's voice sounded a bit anxious after I agreed to her plan. Alright. But? Look at that! She still wants to fucking talk! Oh man. Uh, sorry, I need to take a bath. Oh, you're feeling guilty? Uh, Alright, uh, I'll see you next week. He just brushes her off like that, man? Yeah, man, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get extremely fucking naked right now. Don't worry. Good night, Mew. Hmm. The call ended and I tossed my phone on the bed. Are you intending to bathe? Yeah, I guess. No, I already did that. Oh, he just blew her off! Yeah. I really should be talking to Mew anymore. You probably realized it today. The scales in her heart were beginning to tip. Oh, he's influencing her, and he knows it. Hmm. Whether that was a good thing or a bad thing for me, I had the foggiest idea. In any case, Crow, you really should show. Uh, you really do show up at the most convenient of times. Oh, all right. Uh, Crow spoke uh, without a care in the world as she continued to float in the air. Talking to yourself when I'm around? Alright. Uh, I don't care how much of a stupid candy ass you think I am. I know what I have to do. A stupid candy ass? I ain't no candy ass bitch! Oh, alright. Ouch! Well, thanks. Jesus, she's savage! What do you intend to do? What do you tend to do? I don't know. How much feet are you gonna show there? You just poke in every angle of foot. Um, I uh, have to finish what I've started. Pretty much, yes. Uh, that was the whole reason for all this, yes. She will be rejected. Yeah, you know, look, I know this. we're setting up for failure here, but it's good. All right, you grow stronger through failure. Um, I can still strike while the iron is hot. Aww. Oh, what? Uh, it, it happened a long time since I last saw Crow the surprise, but then the neat goddess scowled at me again. But, uh, 
We're just gonna steal the girl. We're gonna be Mr. Steal Your Girl. Whoa, <laughs> that's Mr. Steal Your Girl. Uh, well, kiss it, I said. Oh, oh, it's gay. <laughs> she don't like that. <laughs> oh, oi, 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 none of that now. Um, good night, crow. Oh, I just blew her off. Take that, bitch. Take that, bitch. I pulled the covers up and over my head. I was glad to know that it would be Sunday tomorrow. After all, I knew I wasn't going to be sleeping well tonight. Ah, he's going to make his move. He's going to make his little move. <laughs> All right, all right, that was nice. That was nice. Tick tock, tick tock. Um, thus time advances. Now then, our first act is approaching its climax. There's not, not very much left to explain. There are just three crucial scenes that remain for you to see. Oh, all right, we're, we're reaching the big old climax, boys! Oh shit, we're gonna see what happens. We're right at the beginning of the game then. With that said, let me briefly recap things. A problem which uh, you have seen unfold thus far cannot possibly be resolved in a way that would work in everyone's favor. And when it comes to uh, the final decision, I do not have the authority to make it myself. I'm not fond of thinking in hypotheticals. Sometimes, though, I have to wonder. If Chrono's Clock uh, had a no five-minute time limit and allowed me to rewind time as far back as I wish, would I want to do all my meeting with Mew all over again? Ah, uh, you know, you, sometimes you gotta stick with your guns, you know? Thinking about it honestly, I... Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. Well, we're gonna see. Uh, the twilight of summer. And the beach. Romantic, yeah. Is he talking to himself? Oh, man, so romantic. But those waves, those are nice. <laughs> Fucking it, so both Well, I'm sorry, all right. Can't at least let me have some homosexual thoughts by myself, all right? It's okay every once in a while. Um, Sushi seemed exceptionally pissy when I met him. Here. Oh, I don't know, man. Well, there's just one thing I forgot to ask. Because <laughs> you just text it. Look, man, I needed a romantic, dramatic setting, okay? Uh, I need to talk to you face to face about something like this. It's humiliating and I, I need to be there. Uh, and I need there to be no one else around. Oi, you. you can't be serious. Alright, look. Ignoring his stubbornness, I came right out and asked him. If you had just one chance to turn back time and relive your life from any point in the past, how far back would you turn these hands of time? That's a Oh yeah, it's a little bit, okay? God damn. Yes! Yeah. I mean, honestly, I, I don't want to relive my life. I'm quite happy with where I am. Um, he probably thought it was a stupid question, but Suji still pondered it over seriously. After a little while, Suji stared at the glimmer of sunlight reflecting on the ocean, and his expression clouded over. Huh? What a guy! I mean, that would probably be pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go. Oh, what a romantic bitch! I see. I quietly nodded. Deep within my heart, I felt an incredible chill. I stood up straight and mentally braced myself for what I was about to do. So that's how it is. Suji, you're saying you want to relive your life for another person's sake? With nary a moment's thought of doing it for yourself? I guess that means we're in the same boat. So, we might as well go down with the ship together. <laughs> we might as well go down with the ship together. Oh, what? What's that? Suji, just confess to Michiru, all right? Huh? Oi! <laughs> Oi! 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 Um, just as I'd expected, Suji was shocked to hear that. <laughs> well, yeah, a little bit. I did. Well, no. Exactly. That's uh, what I wanted to tell you, so of course I couldn't just text you about it. <laughs> you fucking cunt! Oh, excuse me! You need, you need to wake this up, but at least you'll be aware of your fucking existence. Um, that was definitely Suji's 100% honest, unfiltered opinion of me in that very <laughs> You fucking cunt! Oh boy, alright! Um, for the first time in my life, I knew what it was like to be hated by someone. And by my own best friend, no less. Honestly, I was terrified. And yet, I'm begging you. Who's that kid or not? Good fucking around, man. 
I thought he was about to punch me, but instead he just side trying to calm down. What he wanted to do was uh, to do was change the subject and put this conversation on hold. I could tell. Put it off. Wait and see. Yeah, like the way uh, of think I uh, like uh, like that way of thinking ever did me any good. Yeah, it's not good to ever do that. Just put shit on hold and just boil you over, and things will explode. Shoot. Oi. こんないきなりで分かりましたなんて言える話だと思うかこれが。Well, I'm not letting you off the hook until you do. Sanzei. Um, Shuji spat out my name with extreme loathsomeness. Dude. あの、見よってこのためかよ。Well, yeah, I am. My voice was shaking. It was embarrassing and nerve-wracking to admit that out loud. What the hell's wrong with me? <laughs> what the hell's wrong with me? He's so pretty. All right. Just open up your options, I guess? He's trying to, like, sacrifice his own love interests? I don't know. I shook off the embarrassment and tried to get together. I don't want you to be all wishy-washy about Mitru when Mio confesses to you again. Well, uh, you, you loaned her your umbrella, didn't you? Huh? Uh, when you loaned her your umbrella, you thought it might be a good chance to meet a cute girl, right? Well, now you met a fucking cute girl, bitch! You should live up to it, you cunt! Goddamn! Um, I'm the same as you. I've been helping her because I thought she was cute. That means we're both idiots here, so we ought to just call, uh, we just ought to call honor among thieves and stick, to, uh, stick together until it's over. I don't know, man! Shuji groaned. My frustration was at the point of a needle. I felt like I was talking to a brick wall. Just listen to me, damn it! <gasps> oh, damn! Oh, damn! He's going all right. We're going down, boys. Um, Shuji was taken uh, back by me suddenly, starting to yell at him. That girl was the first to work up the courage to confess, while you and I just are sitting here on our asses. <laughs> I guess that is true. We got girls we like, and we got one other girl who's the fucking um, shyest thing in the world to actually confess your feelings first, man. That is actually true. Um, she had her nose to the grindstone all this time, all well, for your sake. I'm not demanding you accept her or anything like that. For Christ's sake, man, can't you at least give her a chance? If anything, you, you should know more than anyone how much it hurts uh, to, uh, to know that your crush will always be unrequited, don't you? I was in the deep, uh, desperate frenzy trying to convince him. I knew all too well that I was the last person on earth who should be saying that to his face. <laughs> yeah, I know. Considering you're the one that likes the girl. Oh, man, this is weird. This is like he wants to get cucked. I don't know, but... Demo. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> but shut the fuck up! Ah, whatever. I grabbed Shuji by the collar uh, as my blood boiled viciously. Damn, dude! All right, is this gonna be like a bro slugfest here? I'm, I'm a bit of a hottie myself here. I didn't realize here. All right, boys, I'm hot. I'm fucking hot. Uh, I grabbed Shuji by the collar as blood boiled, uh, blood viciously. I hated people who yell at others. To I'm hopeless, aren't I? I haven't felt uh, in my head spin as much as before. But I don't care about how hopeless I may be right now. This can't be left unsaid. You're the one she likes, not me! <laughs> oh. I guess that is true. <laughs> Damn, alright. Dot dot dot. Such eyes were bewildered as we continued to stare each other down. You're trying to cut yourself, boy! Like hell, I tell you shit I don't know. <laughs> I guess that is true. I think I've been in this situation before where I liked a girl, but I knew she liked another dude and he liked her back, so I was just like, I might as well get them together so like, they're both happy. I don't know, it's it's a weird feeling. We've been there. I think most people have been there. Aww. You say it's like I hadn't thought about that possibility a long time ago. Shuji's eyes wandered as she was looking for something to say. Oh, am I getting a little camera lag here? Hold on, boys. Don't worry. I'm fixing this. It's all dramatic now. It's all dramatic. I'm getting into the mood. The camera lag mood. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, I was just looking away to say something. Hmm. Let me get... All right, all right, bro. All right. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, I, I don't know, man. I have emotions, and I'm not good at coping with them. I, I refused to let go, not until I had a real answer from him. 
よし、I never looked back. Once he was gone, all that remained was the sounds of the waves, the fading twilight, and me alone. Oh! Dot dot dot. Ah! That's not. Right. Well, at least he got his emotions out there. Huh? I fell on my knees and buried my head in my hands. I'm such a fucking idiot. <laughs> Since I knew no one else was around, I just howled out uh, my frustrations into the night. The sheer stress alone was making me want to throw up. Should I rewind time? No, I won't be able to go back far enough. Man, I didn't just keep my stupid mouth shut. Shuji, were right. Way to go, you dumb fuck. My lord. He's gonna cuck himself. And now I have to face him at school again tomorrow? Oh, this blows. Oh, wait. Blows doesn't seem to cut it. Did I just lose my best friend? Did ever speak to me again? Am I supposed to force to do all my group assignments now? <laughs> I won't have a group assignment buddy anymore! Ah, oh, shit! I'll die! I swear to Christ that if anyone finds out about this, I'll fucking die! Da da! <laughs> da da da! Ah, oh, no! Damn it! Ugh! And here I was happy for a moment that you don't give a shit about humans' personal affairs. Of course she was the only a figment of my imagination anyway. At this point, it didn't matter if she did. Left you at the very end. So how much of that did you see? <laughs> From the very end. God damn it! Oh, now she tells me. Well, excuse me, sometimes boys get a little heated. Sometimes, alright? Crow smiled warmly, in contrast to Yushiko's cynical attitude. I'm not going to rewind and start over, so don't ask. You likely would not be able to. Shut up! You truly were a marvelous fucking idiot. <laughs> all right, well, excuse me, okay? Uh, out of all the words I said, I said that she decided to throw back in my face. It had to be that. Nonetheless, huh? Oh, well, is, is that something good? I don't know. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, all right, all right. Crow floated off as if uh, that really had been uh, the only reason she came here. That was weird. Crow actually complimented me for once. Huh. I took a seat on the sandy shore. All right. I didn't care if my uniform got dirty. I needed to lie down. The sky uh, was bathed in glowing red. It was a wonderful sight. I felt so much regret. Wait a minute. Actually, that's something worth regretting? Well, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> hey, I actually did something worth regretting? Hey, alright! I did something productive then! Uh, besides, it was a neat thing to do. Uh, and for now, it was the only thing I could have done. Alright, well, I guess, I guess, yeah, we did get our emotions out. We got something accomplished. Well, that, that was just a short little chapter. I was expecting a lot more, but all right. All right. We even got, we even got a little thumbnail out of it, too. Uh -huh. Oh, hi, Kun. Oh, okay. We got Crazy Yakuza bitch that's uh, talking to us again. Oh, good morning, Makoto. I was feeling depressed on Monday morning. 
but Makoto's greeting made me feel a little better. Alright. I mean, I would too if you got little balloon tits over here. Then looking around the classroom, I saw Shuji slouching in his chair. He noticed and looked back, but I immediately averted my gaze. Oh, you just, you just break your gaze, no! No, I don't want you looking at me. Hmm. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, well, let's just say it's, uh, it's stress. Well, yeah. Hey. <laughs> I, I wasn't joking? Oh, man, that's mean. You weren't? Well, yeah, I guess that is kind of true. Yeesh. As if my stomach didn't hurt enough, now my head hurts too. Honestly, I should just skip school today. <laughs> what a savage! I mean, she's cute though. I mean, she does belong to the Yakuza, so I guess she would be a moderately savage. Despite my worries, my this class went by without, uh, for me without incident. Shuji ignored me all day, and I didn't see Mue all day either. Oh man! Oh, alright! Good! We're ignored. She had told me before that she wanted to do some practice before she tried confessing again, but I ended up getting out, uh, getting out of that by telling her to practice on her own. It's been uh, too long since I had this much free time. Maybe I'll go home and sleep. <laughs> you just, that's it? Just leave? I suppose I was just joked around with Misaki a bit, but I decided just to go home quietly instead. I don't know much the energy to deal with a girl like that. <laughs> no! <laughs> Gonna leave the other Koai. Alright, fuck that girl. Screw that, man. Well, I, I do mean that, fuck that girl, but that's gonna be later. Anyway. Oh, really? That's it? I took a nap until dinner time. And that night, I, uh, as I lay in bed playing a game, I heard a voice from the hall. Oh, it's Uh-oh. Uh, the door's not locked. <laughs> well, it is a sliding door, yes. Oh, hold on. I'll, I'll, come, I'll, I'll come out and see you. It would be a very bad, uh, bad idea to let Mitchell into my room this late at night. Oh, no, whoa, whoa, hold on there, girl. I ain't letting you know you don't come in here. You ain't coming out. Uh, what is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the pleasant fragrance of Michu's shampoo was almost overwhelming. <laughs> and that's the first thing he does? God damn it, dude. You're weak. You're a weak boy. Maybe next time, then. <laughs> That's quite a... Uh, maybe, maybe tomorrow then. Maybe, maybe, maybe tomorrow. Um, I guess it... Uh, I guess it fell flat, huh? Yeah. Oh, oh really? Uh, well anyway, what's up? Yu Suzumi ni... Sono atari o sampo shi yo to omotta no de... Sko shi... O tsukiai itada kereba to... O negai ni maerimashita. A little midnight straw? Alright, I can... Alright, I can do this. Evidently, she wanted to uh, a little walk in the garden. Of course, she she knows her way around our home, but since there is the possibility of her tripping on one of the decorative stones or shrubs, it'd be dangerous for her to go alone. Sure thing. I took Mitru's hand, whereupon we walked through the porch and out into the garden. Oh, all right. He just immediately grabs the hand by himself. Oh, you can't see like the light from it? Yeah. Hey, right, there it is. Looking up, I can see the moon almost fully waxing, shining down from the night sky. Of course, well, she couldn't see light because her eyes are blind. I'm stupid. All right, look. All right, I, look, I, I just like picture it with my eyes closed, but she wouldn't even see that anyway. It'd be all black anyway. Um. All right. Anyway, I'm stupid. Don't don't mind me. So this All right. Yeah. It's it's a splendid moon. Yeah. When I answered her, I glanced at the profile of her face. Is something on your mind? Yes. Well, obviously she wanted to call your ass out here, if there wasn't. Uh, what happened? Ishida Oh, shit. Michi remained as stoic as ever. I recoiled in shock, but I made sure to control my breathing so she wouldn't notice. Uh, what did you say? I politely reject. Oh, are you sure about that? It's not a bad guy, you know. Yeah. But Jesus Christ, his offer is meaningless. Holy shit, there! 
Uh, what happened to the scale of ten? Love is blind. I guess just like you, I see what you did there. Uh, I must admit, that's a brilliant response. To come up with it? Alright, yeah, I guess you prepared for this. Uh, I wonder which came first, the chicken or the egg? Oh, alright. Well, thanks for telling me. Oh, okay. I see. I see. <laughs> in case you didn't get the IC, when he said it out loud, he does the IC again in his mind. Alright, just in case. Um, he really is a good chap. Aww. Well, shit, I looked up at the moon. Well, now it's a little bit awkward. Poor guy. I understood that uh, it would be a hot, sunny day tomorrow. It would come, uh, it would come uh, to, to be my date with destiny. Alright, date with destiny, boys. A little uh, smoochy smooch date with destiny. Right. <laughs> Holy shit! Alright, we are just burning through these prologues like no one's fucking business. Alright, goddamn. Alright. Hey, it's Clouds, my favorite! Oh, shit. Just like that, the hands of times, the world rotating once more on its axis. Oh, shit. Hmm. July, summertime. On that day, Standing on the rooftop, the one place of all the school, reaching the closest to the sky, I knew that I would be, uh, soon experience my first broken heart. It was after school, and no one else was on the rooftop. It seemed like I was the first to arrive. Just to be safe, I glanced over the railing to the ground below, confirming that Miu had not fallen to her death again. <laughs> Making sure she didn't fucking jump off again. God damn, that girl's prone to death. Evidently, her luck was better today. Oh damn, this is just like the beginning! As I was looking over the railing, the door opened behind me. Oh man, am I gonna get cut? I hope not. Uh, that outfit. It was the very first thing about her that caught my attention. Oh man, the outfit you picked out and you liked and she's wearing it for another dude. Oh! Oh, the pain! Ooh, that hurts. Ooh. Uh, you're really going all out today. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Mew came and stood beside me. <laughs> Jesus, you make it sound like we're saying goodbye forever. Holy shit. Well, we did spend all the last week together. Yes. We were always together. Uh... Where's Suji? A little later? Oh man, the build-up! Um, I see. So we're just waiting for him to show up. <sighs> oh man, dude, the tension is building! Mia seemed extremely anxious and unable to calm down. Her hands were fidgeting. As we continued to wait, her fidgeting hands grasped the hem of my jacket. Such precious small hands. Oh! Oh, man! Don't do it, boy! Doll, your heart! Oh, it's gonna blow up! You don't need a reason to fall in love, right? Huh? Oh, man. That's what you said to me on the day we first met. Uh, Oh, this looks a little familiar now. Uh, yep, you totally did. You were completely serious about it, too. Oh, man. Well, I, I definitely remember it. Oh, man. Oh, the cuck. Oh, no. It's the ending of a race all over again. I quietly watched Miu as she drooped her shoulders in dejection. That's one thing I can't ever forget. In a very short time, this girl was going to retry confessing her feelings to someone she loved. And it all fell, and if all were to go smoothly, I had helped her all along the way, but somehow I still couldn't get excited at the prospect of her success. <laughs> yeah, no shit, because you love her, you dumb shit. Oh man, go to the clouds, bro. I want I want like a hand to come down from the clouds and just slap this boy in the face like you stupid fuck. 
What are you doing? What the fuck you doing, boy? Oh, man, anyway. I glanced up at the sky, and then I returned my gaze to the iron door leading up from the school building. At that moment, I had thought crossed my mind. Perhaps I don't want the store of the, that door to ever open. Oh, because he doesn't want her to confess. Oh, man, you don't, you don't need a reason to fall in love. I know what you meant by that now, but I actually do have a reason. Oh, senpai mo... I love you! I love you! <laughs> the same one. Um, you asked me, uh, uh, asked me. Her face, one of complete seriousness. She looked too serious, in fact. So I tried to get the wor the words out. I. Oh! The timing! Get right! At that exact moment, the door opened! It's me, Sir Cuxalot! Um. Aji. Oh man, Suji finally showed up. He immediately furrowed his brow in the heat, uh, at the heat and humidity. Looking at us, he then gently called out to me. Oh yeah. Oh man, dude, this is mean. Uh, I quietly watched them talk. A whole week. A whole week together. <laughs> My love. Everything happened in just one week, huh? Uh, no, never mind that. I don't need to be here anymore. That shouldn't be here anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> oh, God, this guy. At that moment, Miu seemed to pick up on what I was thinking, so she turned back to Shuji for a moment. Uh, no. Oh, man, duck out. Ninja vanish, boy. Ninja vanish. Uh. Oh, boy. Shuji stepped back so that Miu could talk to her me. What's wrong? Oh, thank you for everything you've done to get me together with this guy over here. And I know you love me, but fuck you. Alright, thanks. Right. Yeah, you're the reason. Everything is thanks to you, my best friend. Oh, God. What a good friend. Mia respectfully bowed to me. A friendly bow. Uh, I didn't do anything, really. Yeah? yeah. It would have just ran away? Yeah? So I. Just ran... Yeah, wait, what? You just want to say that we're the best friends? Her voice trailed off mid sentence. It wasn't that she was studying or hesitating. She simply looked at me with innocence in her eyes, waiting for my answer to an unspoken question. Do you love me? Do you love me? I suppose it's possible to confess your feelings without saying a word. It's time to decide. Oh, man! I... I was only uh, loading you an umbrella since you were caught in the rain. Huh? Oh, what? Go on. I gave you a push to the vet. Oh, no! My hands were trembling, but I had to hope that Mew wouldn't notice that. Oh shit! He did what? Did she want him to confess? Um, you've had your nose to the grindstone until now because of that, haven't you? Oh. All right. Mia reaffirmed her strong determination to succeed, yet even as she nodded in the affirmation. Tears were beginning to well in her eyes. So what, did she want me to confess to her? What the fuck do you want from me, woman? Um, oh my god. Then she turned her back to me. Her back was still close enough for me to reach her. Oh, this is so painful. Until that very moment, I had never realized just how much it could hurt to fall in love with someone. But if that, uh, but if I want to find love on my own, I suppose it's a necessary pain to endure. Okay, sera, sera. It was more. I, I was more than happy to suffer this pain if I learned something from it. Up until last week, I'd used my pocket watch countless times to try my hand at confessing to girls. But now, all the names of interest I, I had noted in my phone seemed like nothing but lies. My pocket watch. I grabbed it in a vice-like. Oh, is he thinking about throwing it down? 
You gonna throw it down, boy? I could still smash it and undo everything. There was still time. Only I, only I had the power to make this choice. Senpai. Oh. I looked up and when I heard Miyu's voice. Oh man. Oh no. Oh. Oh the pain. Oh god, dude. Oh, this is gonna be bad. But she was calling out to Suji, not me. Her voice was no longer trembling with fear. <laughs> Are you just gonna do it to me? And the friends like looking at my face as I'm like have the most pained look in my face. Oh man. Oh, this is awkward as fuck. If Chronos Clocks had no five minute time limit and allowed me to rewind time as far back as I wish, I would want to do my meeting with me all over again. Think about it honestly, I. Oh. Oh, is there another choice that's supposed to be here? Is there another choice that's supposed to be here? Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, this is mean. Oh, this is mean. I guess I only have one thing would not turn back time. I couldn't do it. I definitely couldn't do it. And no matter what the final outcome of this was, I just couldn't let everything Mew had worked so far up to all now wait, uh, go to waste like that. And so, I silently accepted the choice she'd made. <laughs> Oh man. Oh. Oh man. Huh? She liked him? As in past tense? Oh what? Oh what? What? <laughs> oh, what? The pa what? Past tense? Evidently, Crow had been watching the entire charade. She floated down from the sky with a big fat grin on her face. It was an, in uh, it was an idiotic uh, enough grin to get, get on my nerves right away. This was no laughing matter. So, wait, what? Whatever. Good grief. Ultimately, nothing was going to change from all this. The status quo had been uh, preserved. Really? As in, past, past tense? After me, it was bizarre confession. The rooftop was silent. Eh, to... oh. mm? Okay? Naturally, Shuji was as perplexed as to now as he could respond to that. Uh, what the fuck? It was like the uh, opposite of last week. Both men on the rooftop were completely befuddled, and only Mia was completely stoic. Alright? Okay? Yeah, I guess that's true, she is young. Oh, so now we even need more time? Oh, okay. Alright. So I'm gonna confess, but I'm gonna do it later again. Like how how long are we gonna be prolonging this? You nodded her head. She had openly acknowledged the fault in her character. Yeah, I'm not It's like, well, it's not big for, for me, but... She, she looked at me. And Mio followed his gaze to look at my, me, too. You're not confessing to me, are you? Hi. Oh. Um... Hey, senpai's answer, I heard just Oh. But... お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、
Sounds like. Yeah, shit, man. I could really go for a fucking burger or a shake right now. What the actual? Okay? Um, alright? Uh, knock it off. If you ask that right now with just a tip of here, I might just end up falling for you too. <laughs> Is that what you say? Goddamn. <laughs> Gross. Oh, man. Suji. Nanda. Women are scary. Yeah, I know that, man. What the actual shit? <laughs> you got that right. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Alright, jailbait waifu. Tsumaru tokoro. Kono is shukan de seicho stano wa onushi dake de naku. Ano miu to yu onagomo. Lippana onna ni seicho stato yu wake da na. Alright, yeah, yeah, I, I guess, yeah. Unlike me, she matured all at once. Umay mo chini ashiro tsuita de wa naiko. I, I, yeah, I think I still like her. I wouldn't say that. It's more like I would have dragged kicking and screaming into growing up. <laughs> I've been dragged kicking and screaming into growing up. Yeah, I don't know. Good luck? She fucking died twice! Um, good luck. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is that good luck to have a guy notice you? Oh, I guess that is in a twisted sort of sense. Um, but wasn't it unlucky for her to fall from the roof to begin with? Oh. Huh. Certainly had a point. But... Oh. Ah。これまでの不運はこの幸運のための代償だな。まさに家福はあざなえる縄の子とし。So she really has the best luck in this game? Who would have thought? I don't think. What a twist! I don't think uh, it's that simple. After all, what was I supposed to do now? Well, yeah, that she still likes you and she doesn't like the other guy. I guess that's true. My wish? I guess that is true. This is quite entertaining. You're off to a perfect start. You're off to a swimming start here, my friend. Quite entertaining, is it not? God damn it. There was nothing left to be said. This was the final resolution. That, that is quite the, the worst. I would definitely say god damn it too. I didn't know whether to be sad or angry, but all I could do was laugh. She was right. Wow, that was fun. That was fun? I guess so, yeah, a little bit. I guess it was certainly different. <laughs> that grin of yours is unsettling. <laughs> well, excuse me! <laughs> oh, what? I heard that. I heard a voice that wasn't crows. Yo. Uh, being rejected by a girl I loved, you know, what's up? Um, but Colonel came over to me. Having noticed me standing around and zoning out like that. Well, was I rejected? Or was she just like, put it off for later and I want you to come from my butt again? I don't know. Uh, what am I doing here? She says. What if I told you that I had just had my heart broken? Hey, <laughs> oh, you silly boys. <laughs> That's what you give me? Makoto laughed. She just, uh, she just seemed to think I was joking with her. Her smile really was comforting. Uh, I pulled out my phone. Opening the notepad app, I glanced one last time at the list of the girls' names. Then deleted. Oh, he just deleted it. Hey, Mako. Uh, remember last week when uh when we were coming to school and you hit me over uh, hit me over a misunderstanding? I believe uh, your exact words uh, were a uh, quote. Let's just say I owe you one. Unquote. Oh, uh, what Is it is it a date? Uh, let's go on a date. Hey, all right. <gasps> Data? Yeah, you know it. Oh, no. Makoto screamed in disbelief. I just grinned back at her. Ah! Tick tock, tick tock. Thus, the clock advances and the party won't stop, baby. This is the end. Therefore, this is uh, the beginning. Wait, this is the end or the beginning? Uh, the springtime of youth is far from over. I still have my role to play in this leisurely uh, zeitgeist. I've never heard of that uh, zeitgeist. I, whoa! All right, this is the this is the story of me and all the other girls. Oh, I almost forgot. 
It's the story of the Kronos, of the Kronos clock too. It's, hey, it's quite interesting. I like it. Ah. Ah. All right. Oh, we even get the opening now. All right. Did her boobs just grow? I swear to god her boobs just grew. Are these spoilers? I think these are spoilers here, aren't they? Oh damn. Those are good spoilers. Those are my favorite kind of spoilers. Oh, okay. I remember her. She's screaming. I like the screaming girl. Alright. We don't know who that girl is. Who's that? She's got a nice ass though. I, I like the ass. I can appreciate a good ass. Alright. Oh, uh, those quick boys. No, please. And yeah, there's that girl, the Kohai. Oh. Uh, she seems like she's the main love interest. That's his name. Huh. Interesting. Oh, yeah, she plays the violin. Right. I do like how it's a little animated here, too. Oh, that looks evil. Right. So we could go incest, we could go the gangster dairy ruin, I'm not sure. All I say is it's starting off to be a very interesting plot of developments. Begin an easy time travel. Easy? I don't know, I didn't know that was easy. None of that was easy at all, man. I'm just saying that. Huh. The boob shot. Music too loud to hear, Noble? Oh, I'm sorry. It, it was pretty loud there. It was a little bit. I'm sorry, boys and girls. Lol. Hmm. And several days of peaceful calm followed the storm of commotion involving Suji and Miyu. Alright, and going back to this, I, I'm sorry to say, but this is as far as I can stream this game for now, unfortunately. Um, I need to get some more uh, permission to see if I can do the rest of it. Um, maybe I can, maybe I can't. We'll see how it goes. Um, but for now, thank you guys so much for enjoying um, some Chrono Clock here. Um, we'll find out next time if I can get some special permission or not. I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> maybe I can at least do one route. I, I don't know. Um, but until then, guys, thank you guys so much for enjoying this here. And I hope to see you all of you beautiful sons of guns again next time. You crazy mother...